everyone welcome back to my channel so today I am not wearing any makeup because I've actually planned to film a full face of Kiko makeup and while I'm at it I am also going to test the Kiko Free Soul collection at least some of it and without further ado let's get on into the video so with the collection you would get this free gift that is a like a headband and and I'm gonna hold my hair with this never mind this little guy right here my hair doesn't usually hold these things very well because it's so thin but yeah I think it looks kind of cute so to start I am going to use the Frisol Blurring and Moisturizing Face Cream. It's a uh, kind of pink and it has a little lid, a little plastic lid. I'm gonna try to use what what's in here. And I usually get very enlarged pores on this place in my forehead and here around my nose. So let's try to see how blurring this is. And also when applying moisturizer, never forget to take it down your neck. It may be a little bit blurry, not too much, but my skin is feeling very hydrated and very refreshed. So this is a good start. Now for the free soul um, items, I'm gonna try to leave everything linked in the description box. But also if you wanna see a haul video on that, I'll leave it on the cards. And now something new I bought is, is actually new, it's the Prime and Fix Refreshing Mist. And I am going to use this as a primer and also at the end as a fixing spray. So it has a, a little ball thing. There it is. Got a very fine mist. Doesn't have much of a smell. I'm just gonna let it dry for a little bit. And for foundation, you've probably seen me use this. I'm going to use the Kiko Skin Tone Foundation. This is in the shade Warm Rose 30. And I'm gonna use it with the Kiko Foundation Brush. I'm just gonna take two pumps in my hand. And I'm gonna dot it all over my face and then blend it with the brush. This foundation has a kind of light coverage. I just forgot I wanted to use something. So I totally forgot I wanted to use this color correcting uh, concealer palette that you're supposed to use before foundation but I'm just gonna pop a little bit of the green in this guy right here and uh, then I'll go with the foundation on top again Cover this blemishes with the green. I am also going to use a little bit of this uh, peachy shade under my eyes. With, with these cream concealers, I like to use my fingers. I just think it makes it a little bit easier 
to kind of warm up the product a little bit. And now I'm just going to take a little bit more of the foundation just to kind of put it on top of that. And blend it with the brush. So as I was saying, this foundation has a, a light to medium coverage. It's very lightweight as well. Yeah, now this is a little bit more covered. Now for concealer, I am also using the Free Soul Concealer. And this one, I got it in the shade 02 comes in this packaging and this is what the applicator looks like so I'm going to apply Ooh, that was a lot this might be a little bit too dark for me actually and a little bit goes a long way Put a little bit in here and for this I am going to use the sponge that comes with the collection I didn't use it for the foundation because I think it's not too soft but I'm gonna try the pointy tip to blend my concealer and I have dampened it but it didn't grow a lot in size Kind of doing a fine job blending the concealer but yeah it's not exactly a soft sponge and yeah as far as the coverage is kind of good but the color is just a little bit too um, too dark for me Um, as far as the concealer goes, I would probably just should have gone to the um, 01, to the lightest color. And the sponge, um, it's a little hard. Now, to try and brighten a little bit under the eyes, I am going to use the Kiko Invisible Touch uh, Powder. That is a translucent. And I'm going to take it with a small brush. This is very finely milled and I am going to set my eyes. Got a little bit of foundation there. This brush is from Primark and I've been loving it to my under eyes and also I'm going to set my my smile lines with this because my foundations usually crease in this area and now I'm going to take a bigger brush and only use it on my t-zone because I am still going to use um, a cream and liquid product And now I am going to take the Kiko Free Soul Liquid Bronzer and I think it's set in the box to shake it well, so... This one comes with a doe foot applicator and it's in the shade 01 Natural Beige and they had a darker tone and I'm just gonna try to apply like three dots maybe and just a little bit on the edges probably for the best to start with a small amount and I am also gonna try and use the sponge for this
blending very nicely. Just leaving kind of a, a subtle shade. I kind of like this. Looks very subtle, which is nice. I'm gonna try to just put a little bit more on my cheekbones and try blending it with a, uh, with a brush. I'm going to try with this brush. Oh, I really like this. This one is really good. very natural shade yeah I really like this one so now for blush I am going to use also from the free soul collection the um, free soul blush in the shade coral vibes this has a, a more matte blush and a more shimmery blush but they're both cream and this is already trying to slip but it's kind of typical and for this I think I'm going to use a brush which is what I normally do but I could probably use the sponge as well so I'm going to take um, an angled blush brush and I think I'm going to use the more shimmery blush looks kind of subtle, which I like. Just left me kind of rosy. It's really sweet. Yeah, I don't usually use a lot of blush. I just like to give it a little touch of color. And this one performed really well for that. So I really like this one and now I am going to highlight my face and for that I am using an eyeshadow and this is one of those water eyeshadows but this one works very nice as a highlighter. This one is in the shade 208 and it's kind of a gold, um, light gold. And for this, I am going to take the Kiko Smart blush brush that has a very nice shape for a highlighter. And let's put it there. Now, this is very, very pretty. And a little bit on the brow bone as well. I can see it as well. Let me just try and turn over a little bit. Yeah, it's it's even. So this one is very pretty as an eyeshadow and also as a highlighter. So just gonna swatch it here. So yeah, you can see it there, it's very, very pretty and bright. Now I am just going to give a little touch to my eyebrows, I usually don't do much to them and I'm going to use the Precision Eyebrow Pencil in the shade 01, which now with my hair like this is a little bit too dark, but let's see how it looks brush them a little bit. This is their natural color by the way. I'm actually thinking about lightening them up a little, I don't know. I'm just going to kind of fill in a little bit of the spaces.
and now I'm going to brush them again just to make it more even. Now my eyebrows are enoughly done for what I usually do anyway. And now I'm going to move on to the eyeshadow. But first I'm going to apply the Kiko Neutral Eye Base and I don't know why I keep saying Kiko because this is a full face of Kiko. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my finger and prime my lids with this. Now I'm just going to use a little bit of the um, the translucent powder to set the primer. This powder, I like it a lot because it leaves your skin feeling very smooth, but if you're gonna have to take uh, pictures with flash uh, with this, be careful because it gives you a little bit of flashback. And for eyeshadow, I am also using the one from the Frisol collection. I got this one in the shade Free Spirit. It comes with a little brushy thing. And it looks like this. So to start, I am going to take a little bit of this light color and put it on the upper part of the lid. It looks very pigmented and a little bit powdery. Oh yeah, and it's very pigmented. I really like the color of this. Just kind of use this one as a transition. I really love the shade, it's kind of a peachy color. And now I'm going to take this more pinky color and I'm going to use the Kiko, I think it's called blending brush. This is the number 48 that just looks like this. So yeah, just tapped it a little bit and you can see how much pigment it picks up, it's a lot. And I'm going to use this on the crease and a little bit uh, below the other shade. It's very nice, I'm loving it. Now, also with this same brush, I am going to take the darker color onto the outer and inner corner of my eye. And I am taking it up a little bit. A little bit more here and I am going to take again a crease brush with the pinky color and just bring this everything together yeah so far they seem to blend very nicely to not say that I'm not using this thing I am I think I'm gonna spray it with the Prime and Fix and I'm going to use the shimmery color and let's see how this brushy thing does it. So it picks up a lot of pigment and I'm going to put it in the center of my lid. It's amazingly pigmented. I think this thing did it very nicely. Just 
a little bit of fallout because this shade or the top layer at least it seems to be a little bit glittery I don't know if you can tell by that I think you can but let's try to blend it so I'm just gonna swipe a little bit of that under my eyes let's try and do a little close-up and yeah I think it looks pretty just gonna blend a little bit more now onto my lower lashes I'm going to use also a brush from Kiko and this one is the number 54 and I'm going to take the pinky color and maybe mix it a little bit with this as well I really like this brush for my, for my lower lash line For my inner corner, I think I am going to use the um, single eyeshadow only because I think the this color is a little bit too dark for the inner corner, and yeah, this one does a little bit better on brightening the inner part of the eye, and I'm blending it. To my lower lash line so the eyeshadow I really loved it and I'm gonna play with it a lot and now for eyeliner I am going to use the one from the lip Milot collection that is a felt tip liner and let's see how this goes So, I'm not very good at winged eyeliner, but I think this one is not bad, it's not bad actually. Maybe this one is a little thin, yeah, I think that made it a little bit better, maybe. But I've really been loving this. And now, for my waterline, I am going to use the Everlasting Kajal. This is just a black pencil. And this one actually made me start to properly line my upper waterline. Because it is so incredibly creamy that before I absolutely couldn't do it without making a mess. My eyes are kind of sensitive and I blink a lot when I have things very close to my eye. And I'm going to use it also on my lower waterline. I'm kind of connecting it to the eyeliner. Yeah, I think this is a very pretty look for me. And for mascara, I'm going to use the Extra Sculpt Waterproof Mascara that is very volumizing. So what I do for this is I tilt the mirror I have here, I tilt the mirror up and then I look down. So you can see the before and after 
This one has one coat of mascara, this has nothing. This mascara can sometimes just be a little bit clumpy, but I just wait for it to dry a little bit and then I pinch the clumps away. Now on my lower lashes, I have to be quite careful with this because the one is very big. But yeah, the one. <laughs> It's a little bit scary, but it gives your eyelashes an amazing volume. I really like this mascara. And now for my lips, I'm going to use the Smart Fusion Lip Liner in the shade 534. I think it's a hazelnut or something like that. trying to overline them a little bit. The, um, the lip liners from Kiko, they're very very creamy and especially if you want something very affordable these uh, lip liners, and I'm also using uh, a lipstick from this line, the Smart Fusion yeah, the Smart Fusion lip pencil and Smart Fusion lipstick. This line is very affordable and the lipstick, I am using it in the shade 434. It's the same shade as the lip liner. These lipsticks, they're your pretty natural lipstick. They're very creamy but they don't actually dry or transfer proof. It's just like this, very shiny, very, very buttery and comfortable. Oh, and finally, I am going to use again the Prime and Fix spray. This one is as good as the other fixing spray from Kiko, it's going to be very good. So yeah, this is the finished look. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Frisol collection. I think my favorites from this collection were the eyeshadow palette. It's got very nice colors and it blends very well, it's very pigmented. And another favorite that I wasn't expecting was actually the liquid bronzer. And I say this because I am fairly new at makeup, but this was much easier to use than what I expected. So if you want to try this, I would definitely recommend it. And that's everything for today. So if you liked this look and if you liked this video, give me a good thumbs up and comment down below. And also down below, I have all my social media. So if you want to know what I'm up to, go follow me on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook. Also, if you want to see more of me, check out my latest video and subscribe to my channel and join the world of Beautycraft. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!